New video games and college basketball. We're going to talk about it right here on The Brave Club. What's up, Warriors? Welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Salma. And I'm Jolene. We're with our co-hosts, <laughs> Knox and Austin. Today is Wednesday, January 18, 2023. It's our second episode. She's trying episode. to beat me so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure, believe what you want to believe. Mm -hmm. It's our second episode. Mm-hmm. First. Well, first one being out. First one being... No, the last one was out. People no, were coming... yesterday. Yes, what? Yeah. People watching were coming... yesterday? Yes, people oh, no one came up to me. People were coming up to me saying that uh, they saw me on the or on YouTube. They were saying they, they saw did? me on YouTube. Oh, oh. oh no one. They didn't, but they didn't play it in fifth period. For us. Mm, I guess yeah. they didn't play it, but, but I guess still the link. It. Yeah, the link. Nice. People still watched it. Yeah. How did people get the link? Probably their teacher. Yeah. He sent it out, yeah. he sent it out oh. to the teachers. So probably the teachers like played it or something. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What's your weather? Um, for the weather, it is a high of seventy-seven and a low of fifty-five. It is partly sunny. With no rain in our forecast, for the five-day forecast, it's going to just practically stay the same throughout the week, get up to 80 on Sunday, and yeah, that's about it. I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> is, is weather funny? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> why does he... I don't know. It's just funny, the way you just say. That's okay. That's about it. That's about it. Okay. That's about okay. It. It's starting to get warmer, though, which is good. Yes. Yeah. All right, so what do you have for celebrity gossip? So for celebrity gossip, most people probably will care about this. No. Mm -hmm. So pop star Billie Eilish is facing an alleged stalker. She has officially placed a temporary restraining order and protection for her and her brother Phineas against a 39-year-old named Christopher Anderson. And Billie's dad has said that he has visited their family house many times since late December, <laughs> expressing his love for Billie and hoping to meet her. And the cops were called five times, and they made multiple reports. Billy says these incidents cause her fear and emotional distress, and she is concerned of her, fa her and her family's safety and no longer feels safe visiting her parents' home. Yeah, and she also said that she had a stalker like two or three years ago, and now they have like a three-year restraining order against him. How do you get rid of a stalker? What do you do? It's really stalker. hard. <laughs> get like a restraining order. Yeah, well, you have to order. find out who well, the stalker is Well, yeah, but what if they first. just don't listen to the restraining order? Well, no, then, you then they get arrested yeah. like, oh. and fined because it's like a no contact contract. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you go near them or anything, Yeah, like they'll you have like a them. certain radius. Be like, oh, if you go 20 feet close to this person, if you go like 30 feet oh. yeah. next to this person, yeah. you get arrested. I feel like celebrities, that's the one thing. Once you become famous, it's just like you have a lot of like paparazzi yeah. fans and all this stuff. And it's just like... Sometimes. That's why I have all these bodyguards and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What's what do you have for lifestyle? <laughs> okay. <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> so, uh, it's 2023 now, so there's obviously new games coming out this year. Um, and I have the top two games that I have most likely seen a lot. Um, and those are Forspoken and Hogwarts Legacy. Um, so, Forspoken is a narrative concept sees protagonist Frey transported from modern-day New York City into Athia, a, a fantastical world of magic and deep mythology. As Frey journeys to return home, she'll learn other worldly abilities that aid in both combat and traversal. So this is coming out on PS5 and PC on January 24th. So if you're interested in that. Um, and the next one is Hogwarts Legacy. Which I've heard this is like the most like game that everyone's been wanting to most awaited. Yeah, because um, it was supposed to come out in 2020, but then like COVID happened, so they pushed it to 2022, and then they didn't put it out in 2022 either. So they're now hopefully put supposed to put it in 2023. Um, but yeah, so maybe it'll come out this year. Um, so basically, it is a thing for Harry Potter fan long held wishes to live out there 
own wizarding world fantasy and the open world RPG sets you behind your classmates, meaning you'll have to complete quests to catch up while there are tons of areas to explore, secrets to discover, and activities to partake in. Developer Avalanche Software was unable to incorporate playable versions of certain Hogwarts pastimes such as Quidditch, Gobblestones, or Gobstones, and Wizard's Chess. It is one of the biggest third-party releases, and it should set to be come out February 10th on PlayStation 5, um, Xbox, XS, PC, April 4th, PlayStation, Xbox One, and July 25th, the Switch. July 25th, the Switch. Why so? Switch. Yeah, the, Switch. Yeah, yeah, the Switch. Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah. It comes Switch. out. I feel like a lot of Harry Potter lovers will have liked that game. I don't watch Harry Potter. I don't watch it. Yeah, me neither. No. I've never read a book or watched it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> people back here. Okay. On to sports. Sports? Yeah, what's going Okay. Right? Today we're just going to be talking about college basketball and some of the upsets from last night's games. Uh, number 13, Kansas State knocked off number two, Kansas, uh, 83 to 82 in a, hold up, yeah, in regular time. So it was an upset on that one. Um, number 12, Iowa State beat number 7, Texas, 78 to 67. And Wake Forest, who is an unranked team, destroyed Clemson by 10 points, 87 to 77. And, yeah, that's... I mean, and then there's upcoming games. The only interesting ones could be TCU, West Virginia, Arkansas, Missouri, Providence versus Marquette, and maybe uh, Xavier versus DePaul. So, uh, I don't watch college Those, basketball. You don't? That's the only kind of basketball I watch. I don't watch NBA. NBA. I don't watch uh, NBA. So, no, yeah. apparently they don't watch college ba or yeah, college yeah. basketball. They don't watch any sports. I don't watch any sports <laughs> except yeah. for like maybe obviously the World Cup or whatever. But that's not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Wow. Anyways, are you done? Is that I all you got for today? Okay. A United Nations report has shown that a hole in the ozone layer, which shields the planet from harmful ultraviolet rays, is on track to fully heal by 2066. In 1987, nations signed the International Montreal Protocol, which eliminated 99% of ozone de depleting chemicals. Scientists are describing the protocol as the most successful environmental treaty in history. That's oh, shoot. So, yeah. so like, what's the what's ozone? Ozone. It's like a layer in our planet that's protects yeah. us from harmful ultraviolet rays. So in the atmosphere? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. It is. sure. Pretty sure. much. No. Nope. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Bro. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I didn't know it was even like. Shoot. I didn't even know it was breaking. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know that either. You didn't know the ozone layer was getting like, bad. Yeah, because no. it says uh. it's like. Did you? <laughs> yes, bro. Uh, they used to always talk about that, bro. Those, well, those yeah, save those. Oh. Like the, uh, my whole life. Oh. Clim but the climate change, bro. Have you heard nobody talk about climate change? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> <I>, bro. <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Yeah. Okay. Just in case you missed it yesterday, here are the war updates you need to know about. What's up, Warriors? I'm Colt, and here are the weekly Warrior updates. Eighth graders, class schedules are now finalized. If you've already submitted a request, please be patient until your counselor addresses your concern. Lake Mary High School will be on campus registering zoned students on January 27th. If you're zoned, you will get a pass from Ms. Barnes and Guidance. Some of the high will be here registering students on February 2nd. To find out what's being offered in the Red Apple Dining Cafe, be sure to go to diningservices.scps.us. Ecology currently has fresh cilantro available for staff and teachers. Please contact Mr. Van Noyes by email if you're interested in purchasing the best cilantro east of the Mississippi. Suggested donations are $1 to $2. Reminder to all pre-IB students, your CAS project submission is due Friday, January 20th. Don't delay, get your submitted today. Well, that's all we have for our weekly Warrior Updates. Make sure to check us out on all Sanford Middle social media platforms to stay up to date with any other events happening on or around campus. For the weekly Warrior Update, I'm Colt. Peace. The world's oldest person, French nun Lucille Randon, has died aged 118. Miss Randon, who assumed the name Sister Andre when she became a nun in 1944, died in her sleep at her nursing home in 
Houghton, France. Born in 1904 in southern France, she lived through two world wars and dedicated much of her life to Catholicism. Two world wars? Ten? Well, That's yes. 118. I mean, I 118. When did she die? That's Today? Eight. Yesterday? I think probably so. somewhere yeah, recently. Probably somewhere recently. I, uh, what, what's the world's oldest person? Not be older than that. Right? She is the world's well, oldest person. Oh, the, old, oh, the world's oldest, oldest person. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't read that. Yeah, yeah. But then Dang. you just said it. I know. Okay. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, students, make sure you are keeping up with your goals for this year. Take advantage of any tutoring available and be sure to communicate with teachers about your grades and what you can do to meet the goals you've set for yourself. Make sure you're aware of Sanford Middle's cell phone and device policy and that you're only using one earbud during transition and tell them to put away all cell phones when entering class. Also be aware of the tardy policy. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Stay connected with us on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all the SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave, believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage in Excel in learning. That's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in. For our second episode, catch us next time right here on The Rift Club.